Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to take a deep dive into virtual sound check using an Avantis and Dante. Well, thanks for joining me today. My name is Marshall Swift and I'm the Minister of Worship Technology for a church in Beaumont, Texas. And uh, here at my home church, we're using an Allen & Heath Avantis at front of house. We also have an Allen & Heath SQ5 in broadcast. And I gotta tell you, I've become a huge fan of both of these consoles. They've both proven on multiple occasions uh, to be everything that we need them to be at both front of house and in broadcast. And I've been really impressed with them. But the feature that I use on a weekly basis that helps me get ready for Sundays every week is something called virtual sound. Sound check. Um, and this can be done on multiple consoles nowadays. Uh, there's lots of brands and consoles that provide this as an offering, but I want to take you through how to set that up, specifically with an Avantis console. We're also going to be using an iMac as uh, the computer that we have our DAW set up on and um, our Dante controller. So let's dive in and I'll show you exactly what you need to make this happen. The first thing you'll need is obviously a console that takes a Dante card. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this, um, this is an IO card that goes in the back of the console. It's made by a company called Audinate. Um, they have the Dante communication protocol that's audio over IP. Now you will need to make sure that your primary console is set as your master or your clock console so that everything in your Dante network uh, lines up to the same clock. In this case, I have the Avantis set to be the primary and it is where everything clocks out from. Now, I've already got my card installed in the back of our Avantis here, and I also have a Dante card installed in the back of um, our broadcast board, which is an Allen & Heath SQ5. Sitting next to me, which I'll show you in a second, is an iMac that I have two programs on. One of them is Dante Controller. This is how we'll route audio back and forth between Dante locations. And the second of which is Dante Virtual Sound Card. And what this does is it turns that computer into a Dante device without having to have an external card. Now, as we get rolling here, what you'll need to do is once your card is installed in your console and you've got a Cat5 cable going to uh, its primary connection, you'll need to run that cable directly into the computer that you're using for Dante controller and Dante virtual sound card. On the same computer, I also have Logic Pro installed. Now, this is a program where I can take down multiple tracks at once and then send them back through the console. There's numerous programs you can use out there for this. You can use Ableton, you can use Reaper, you can use Logic Pro. In this case, I already own Logic Pro, so that's what I'm using, but Reaper is a free option uh, that will allow you to route your audio into your computer and take down your tracks and then send them back out. So let's uh, recap here. So you've got your console with your Dante card installed into the back of it. You've got a Cat5 cable going from the primary port of your uh, Dante card to the computer that you're going to use to take down your tracks with. And on that computer, you have three programs installed. You have Dante controller, you have Dante virtual sound card, and you have whatever program you're going to use to take those tracks down with, whatever recording software you want to use. Now, assuming you're setting this up from scratch, um, there's two things you should note. In the Allen and Heath universe, um, my stage box backstage where all of my inputs are is coming to front of house over Cat5. Now that is using the S-Link port on the Avantis, which means that I'm not actually getting Dante from my stage box. It comes to the Avantis over S-Link. That controls my gain staging and then I send it back out over Dante, both to my iMac and to my broadcast board. Now, something to be aware of, specifically with the Avantis and the Dante card in the back, there's actually three ports on that Dante card. You have a primary, a secondary, and a control port. Now, the way mine is actually configured is that my primary port goes to my second console. It goes to my SQ5. But the secondary port works just fine if that's your next available port to go to that iMac. Now, that third port, your controller port, is just that. 
it allows you into the Dante network so that you can control it. But you cannot pass audio through that port. Now let's move on to the console settings here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do on our console, we're gonna go to IO. And what we wanna do is check our inputs and make sure that everything is patched correctly coming into the board as if the virtual sound check wasn't even a thing. So I'm gonna start with the S-Link because that's where channel one starts for me. S-Link is what's coming from my stage box at back of house. So you can see here I've got it patched one to one all the way down uh, to where those inputs stop. So after guitar three, you can see I don't have anything else patched coming from S-Link. And the reason for that is that uh, all of my microphones are patched directly into the back of the board at front of house. So then to verify that we're gonna go to local and we're gonna scroll down here and you can see after guitar three is Vox one and that's where that begins to patch down. So I've got it patched from Vox one all the way down to our iMac which is sending in audio for video. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is go over to outputs. We wanna make sure that it's on IP direct out and we wanna make sure that we're on IO port one in this instance because that's where I have my Dante card in card slot one. Now you can see here I've got everything patched down one to one except for one little thing here that we have adjusted differently because I don't send that iPad anywhere. But I've got this patched one to one. That should be simple and straightforward and shouldn't be anything weird about that. Now that we've got the console set up, let's go ahead and move over to the iMac and we'll adjust some things on there that are both going to allow us to take down tracks and to send them back over to the console. The first thing we'll need to do is download and install Dante Virtual Sound Card. When you first open it, it will look something like this and it will ask you to put in your licensing key under this tab here. Once you do that, You'll then go to settings and you'll choose whatever IO you would like to have, whether it's 32 by 32, two x two, four x four, so on and so forth. Then you'll select your latency. I have found that using the 10 millisecond latency usually gets me a better connection and it doesn't matter the latency because you're either recording or playing back. You're not trying to line anything up. Then you'll need to tell it which uh, port you're using if you have more than one connection. I turned Wi-Fi off just so there was no confusion. Once it connects, it will obtain its IP address from your Dante card. Now, in this case, I've assigned all of my Dante equipment statically, but Dante is plug and play. So when you first uh, plug everything up, your main device, so your primary clock device, will issue IP addresses to everything on that network. So once this is installed, we can then hit start. And what we've done is told the computer that Dante Virtual Sound Card is now its I.O. So let's minimize this. The next thing we're gonna do is look at Dante Controller. So download and install Dante Controller from Audinate's website. Once you've done that and you open it up, you should be able to see a few things if you're using plug and play. So your primary clock leader will be here. In this case, it's the Avantis and we've set it that way. And then you'll also be able to see all the devices on your Dante network here. Now, if you look closely, transmitters are listed this way and receivers are listed this way. So all we're going to do is first, we wanna bring the tracks in from the Avantis to the iMac. So transmitter, we want Avantis and receiver, we want the iMac. So we're gonna hit this little plus icon and I've already routed everything one to one. Then we can close that. And now we wanna send those same channels back for virtual sound check for what we've recorded. So now we're gonna to go to the transmitter being the iMac and the receiver being the Avantis. And we're gonna click that X and do the same thing. We're gonna route it one to one all the way down or at least as many tracks as you've sent in and are sending back. Then we can collapse that. Now, as you can see here, I've already routed everything just to make sure everything was up and running correctly for uh, this demonstration. But you can also go into your devices and rename your Dante devices appropriately so that you can keep track of them. And if you've statically assigned 
your IP addresses they'll show here, but Dante is plug and play. So you should be able to just plug everything in out of the box and your primary clock leader will issue its own IP addresses. It will be your DHCP server. Now we're done with Dante controller. Let's collapse that. The final piece here is Logic Pro. Now I've already got a template set up that I use every Sunday to record with. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. So you can see all of my tracks here on the left. Yes, if you're doing this from scratch for the very first time, you'll have to go in and create each of these tracks and name them appropriately. And when you do so in whether it's Logic Pro or Reaper or Ableton, it's going to ask you to tell it where you want that track to come from. So that's when you'll tell it you want it to come from Dante Virtual Sound Card as the device and you'll choose the input from that list. Now, once that's done, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna arm all of these to record because we're gonna record everything at the same time. This would be uh, like if it's Sunday morning and we're fixing to start our 9.30 service and I want to record the entire worship set. I go through here and I arm every track to record and then about 30 seconds before our countdown's over, I go up and I hit record. And then you'll see those tracks start recording. Now, what I did uh, to verify that I had signal coming from the Avantis when I first set all this up was I went ahead and I patched my main terminal for the worship center that plays all our Spotify music and stuff like that, patched it through and just made sure I had signal. That way I knew everything was routed correctly. Once we've recorded whatever it is that we're gonna record, we're gonna wanna send it back to the Avantis. So now I'm gonna close out this project because we're not actually gonna use it. And I am gonna open a recent project from a couple of weeks ago. And you'll see that all my files from Sunday morning are already here. You can see waveform where it's shown me that I've recorded. So I'm gonna go back to the very beginning and if I start playing these now, you'll see where I've got audio output happening. Now, if I turned off Dante Virtual Sound Card for a second, Logic will tell me that that device is no longer available. I'm gonna hit okay. And then when I play these, That sounds actually coming out of my computer now. But if I stop this, and let's turn virtual sound card back on, Logic now tells me that that device is back. That's that window you saw pop up. And when I play, this is all going back through my virtual sound card. So essentially you're telling the computer, hey, output through Dante, not through local speakers. Okay, we've got our console set up, we've got those settings taken care of. We've got our iMac set up and those settings taken care of. Now there's one more thing we need to do and that's to actually activate virtual sound check. Now, I've already got my board routed where it's a matter of just turning it on, but I wanna show you what you would do if you'd never done this before. We're gonna come back over to the board and we're gonna go back to IO and we're gonna go to virtual sound check now this patching can be changed depending on exactly what you want to send back out. In this specific case, we're gonna do kick all the way down to Vox 4 because that's the only thing I care about sending back through right now. I'm just working through the band tracks. Then I'm gonna hit virtual sound check and it's going to tell me to confirm that right now I'm replacing those active patches with input patches from IO port one. Uh, this looks like a big warning and something that you shouldn't, shouldn't mess with, but all this is is letting you know, hey, you're fixing to do this. Are you sure? And that this is temporary. You just hit continue. Now up here in the corner, and this happens on both screens, you have this flashing VS, which verifies that we're now in virtual sound check. Now when I hit play on Logic Pro, all those tracks are gonna come through those channels just as they would with a live band.
Now that we've tested and made sure that our tracks come through on the right channel strips to deactivate virtual sound check, all we do is go back and hit inactive. Now all your original patching is exactly the way it was before you ever started your virtual sound check. Now there are a few things to note. So Dante Virtual Sound Card does require a license, but once you purchase that, you own it. It's a one-time deal and it can be moved from computer to computer if you purchase that version of the license, but you cannot use it on more than one computer at a time. Now, recording with Reaper or Ableton or any other type of recording program, uh, the concept is gonna be the same, like I mentioned earlier, but uh, you're just going to need to make sure that when you set up the individual tracks, you tell each individual track where you want it to record from. In this case, if you're recording five tracks and you want them to come from inputs one through five on the board, uh, then you tell it you want track one to come from input one and track two to come from input two and so on. Then you just send it back out that same output. So output one, output two, output three. All right, well, there you have it. That is uh, a short walkthrough on setting up virtual sound check with an Avantis, an iMac, uh, using Dante and going into Logic Pro. If you enjoyed today's content, please uh, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and ring that notification bell so that you get notified as soon as I drop fresh content on the channel. And if you have questions about what we covered today, uh, by all means, please drop a comment down below. I would love to interact with you um, and answer any questions you may have. Um, other than that, I will see you guys real soon.